York State's best rock. WSYRFM, Syracuse. 94 Rock. We've been waiting for this for a couple of weeks now, and Tommy finally gave it to us, okay? He sent us a letter from Los Angeles where he's working, and this is the official coveted Tommy Nast Award to the station that listeners in Syracuse should listen to after 94 Rock goes Y94 in 40 minutes, 50 minutes, okay? Presented by Phil Acasio, yours truly. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is it now. The coveted Tommy Nast Award for the next station you should listen to in Syracuse for rock and roll is... Oh, this is a surprise. <clears throat> this may cause problems for your listeners in Syracuse because the coveted Tommy Nast Award for the next rock and roll station in Syracuse you should listen to goes to WMMS in Cleveland. That is a problem for you people in Syracuse because you cannot receive stations in Cleveland. So what we suggest here at 94 Rock is to give up rock and roll entirely. Rock and roll is no good. <laughs> well, wow. that's interesting, Tommy. WMMS in Cleveland. Hmm. Shows you something. Now you know why it goes to MMS in Cleveland. This is Philly Cassio. We have 10 minutes to go to the special and 40 minutes to go until Y94. And you, the person who will guide you through the first couple hours of 94 is... Hello. It's Louise. Oh, hello, How are you? Louise. <laughs> I know a lot of people are um, calling up and asking why we're doing this and all that, but uh, we just like to say that, that we're going to miss you too. You know, you're going to miss the rock, but we're going to miss you too. We're going to miss... I will, but all I can hope for is that um, the people who are listening now will listen to the new Y94, and I think some of them might really like it. Yep. Because we're still going to be playing the Rolling Stones, yep. and the Doors, and Journey, Led Zepp. and Led Zeppelin, and we're still going to be playing Boston, and Rod Stewart, and Bob Seger, and music like that, and I hope they will take some time out and give it a listen, because they might like it. A lot of people have been asking why we're changing formats, and uh, you have to understand something about radio. It's uh, besides pleasing the listeners, which is, of course, the first in all of our minds is pleasing the listeners, but there's also a, a, a point of, of business. And um, as you heard on the spots for WEZG, he says, a wise business sense tells us, and wise business sense has told 94 Rock that uh, it, it's wise to go to this other format. And That's, that's true. It's not something that, that just gets done off the top of your head, you know. It's not something you just wake up and decide to do one morning. It, it takes a lot of thought and a lot of time. Right. And it, it came as a big surprise to everybody. But once you realize the thought that goes behind it, you kind of understand. Tell you what, why don't you, why don't you intro the song? Van Halen dancing in the streets, okay? Okay. Okay, do it. Okay. Matty Rock, Van Halen dancing in the streets. And YNT. That's forever. Chip Knight's favorite song, at least. Chip Knight's favorite song. Well, we've been promoing it now for a long time, at least three days, and the time has come. Staff of 94 Rock has put together something very special for you. Here it is on 94 Rock. Okay, we have some problems with this. <laughs> Not many, man. Come on. Man. Well, no, well, now hold on, man. Why are you hitting all these buttons, man? <laughs> this is really good, isn't it? We built this up, and, and it's a. We'll do it again. Well, we're just waiting here for the special to come on, and uh, it just took me 50. Okay. All right, let's do it again. Here it is on 94 Rock. Just let me hear some of that rock and roll. New York State's best rock. WSYRFM, Syracuse. 94 Rock.
Jackie DC on the highway to hell. Well, we were telling you earlier that we had somebody going to be calling us tonight. And I'm so excited to talk to this person. He's as crazy as I am, probably even crazier. Ozzy Osbourne, are you there? WSYRFM Syracuse. Ah, this is Donnie Van Zandt and Jeff Carlisi of 38 Special. And the best <laughs> rock in Syracuse is 94 Rock. You can take that to the bank. What's your name? California. I used to be the person on the air from 10 to 3 in the afternoon for most of the 94 rocking years until I got a job on the West Coast and now Kathy Rose is doing it for me and for you. And I know that uh, 94 Rock is getting its plug pulled and how tough it will be for everybody in central New York who really knows and lives what rock is all about. But I tell you, as Ozzy said in one of his few sane moments on earth, you cannot kill rock and roll. And rock and roll will live forever in Syracuse because of you and 94 Rock. I was lucky enough about three years ago to be part of the original 94 Rock bunch of crazy loonies, including Big Mike, who you know and love, and Louise, and Holly Castle, and the guy with the uh, wild, long, curly hair, the rock and roll animal. What was his name? Oh, yeah, Tommy Nast. Remember Tommy? Yeah, of course. And uh, everybody else, too. Rock and roll in Syracuse grew incredibly during those years and all the rock clubs and the theaters and of course the biggest thing was that the Carrier Dome brought you the Stones and the Who and all the great rock and roll that came live to central New York. Now if you couldn't get a ticket, 94 Rock would bring it to you because we'd bring you live reports and get you right into the show. Listen, we've gone through 
two spring sets. We've gone through countless live shows. Rock and roll times, I'll tell you. I mean, I even got to do my rock and roll from a swimming pool in the afternoons during lunchtime in the summertime. Well, now the swimming pool is dried up. 94 Rock's going to be changing, but I'll tell you, the spirit of rock and roll in Syracuse that you and 94 built together will always be there. And I can tell you that now that I've been working in other towns, because no town in this country rocks, and I'm not kidding, like Syracuse rocks. And nobody can kill rock and roll. Raise a little hell, raise a little hell. If you're ugly. Everybody knows me because I am undoubtedly the best looking disc jockey to ever grace the microphone here at 94 Rock. Also, one of the last comers to 94 Rock. Five months have gone by, and uh, actually four and a half, and it seems like four and a half years, actually, but uh, I've loved every minute of it. Uh, when I first came to this town, Tommy Nast, who was on his way to the West Coast to take my place, and my girlfriend said, Chip, you're going to love Syracuse because it is a rock and roll town, and he wasn't lying. Girl. 